Hello everyone, it's me again, Steve Doji here, back to more Dragon Ball Z Breakers da. And this time I'm going to be talking about the Season 5 information that they've actually uh, tweeted out quite early. Like normally we just get the, the live stream, um, but now we actually have a date for a live stream and we're even going to say some things. And in fact, it's even very obvious who the new Raider is going to be for Season 5. So if I ever do, um, I'm just going to, I mean I already have the page open. So we're going to just click on it and boom, guys, do you see the coloring of this? Damn, I wonder who it could be. I wonder who... Is associated with the color green and rosé. That's kind of curious. But yes, the Season 5 Raider is going to be Goku Black. Thank God. I was really worried they would do another Ginyu thing. Where they just make a, a guy who we've already played as in every Dragon Ball game before. And it, again, there's not really... Like people... Look, I don't want to sound like mean to start off the video or anything. But if you watch Dragon Ball The Breakers, you don't have the luxury of being able to put characters that have very low interest in the game, all right? You have to you have to come out with heavy hitters. It, it should have been Goku Black in season three, in my opinion. But this is fine. At least we are getting him. I also do like how the mix of the rose or I guess purple with the green here also does remind me of Yuzumasu. That is very cool. But um, I'm just gonna say Goku Black in general because Goku Black is more popular than Zamasu, so I'm gonna call it Goku Black. Um, we are gonna read the information about the season five launch stream now. However, I'm sure it's gonna be uh, uh, on a similar pattern to the rest of the stream. Still though. Um, the Dragon Ball Breaker Season 5 livestream is coming. The stream will be packed full of brand new information about Season 5, including update details and new characters. We've prepared some advanced gameplay for our guests to show off. Plus, during the stream, we'll be giving out a code you can use to get rewards. One letter and number at a time. So, as usual, you'll have to watch the streams for, like, most of the way through before you can actually, um... You know, before you can actually, uh... Uh, use the code. Um, the code will probably get revealed at the end of the stream, so you don't have to watch the whole stream. You can just um, watch the end of it <laughs> and see the code. So that that that's fine. But um, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I think we're actually going to get um, Season 5 in a week. Like a week away. Um, t yeah, the 20, 26. It, sa it says right here. 26. So we are getting Season 5 in um, in six days, actually. So not even a week away. Um, but yeah. Uh, they are, the, here's the time of the broadcast, which is... Uh, the hell which is the day of it okay and the broadcast uh content will be the season 5 campaign information okay i still need to unlock the hercule survivor before season 4 ends uh, by the way if you guys are avid dragon with the breakers players uh, let me just say now i would completely recommend getting hercule if you actually do like like the game and play a lot if you think i don't want to spend money on a game versus steed and yada 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 that's completely fair i understand i i don't want to spend money in a game either but if you are playing Dragon Ball the Breakers, it's not like Dead by Daylight where you can just pick which role you want to be. You have to always pick Survivor before you can eventually be Raider. And Hercule's Survivor skills are way too damn good to pass up on. If you miss them now, you'll lose them forever. Because we haven't got Barba's Dragon Ball searching skills since Season 3. And Season 3 was the worst season in the game, so that's why no one played it right. But um, if you, Hercule's Survivor skills are genuinely so good, I would say if you are playing the game. Again, I wouldn't recommend playing the game that much. But if you are playing the game... Please just get Hercules' um, survivor skills. He's at the Dragon Tier level 50 for the past. So that might be a quite a bit of money if you if you do have money to throw around. And if you don't have money to throw around, don't, don't waste your time on it. You will not get to Dragon Pass 50 in the amount of time left before the uh, next season starts. Because um, Dragon Ball the Breakers has a cap on how much you can earn a day, I think, when it comes to Dragon Pass uh, points. Um, again, I kind of wish it was like Helldivers, where you could just earn an unlimited amount per day because if you enjoy the game you should be rewarded for playing it the whole day um but who knows so yeah season 5 information when season 5 starts obviously we'll lose the season 4 stuff so if you don't have a hook you'll now get him and if you're really close then try and finish uh finish where you are so you can then get him okay all right new character information we already know it's going to be goku black my prediction will be zamasu uh yeah zamasu uh goku black maybe rose goku black at stage 2 and then Goku Black ends the Master Stage 3 or fuse the Master Stage 3. And then have corrupted fuse the Master Stage 4. And if not have corrupted fuse the Master Stage 4, then just regular fuse the Master Stage 4. Who knows? Um Cause they might do the Masu base Goku Black and then Rose Goku Black and then fuse the Masu. And he might have an install that makes him go half corrupted. Um afterwards, right? In case we need an extra boost. But who knows, who knows? Uh, either way, it should be pretty obvious or pretty easy to predict how the forms will go. For Goku Black and Zamasu. If you guys, you know what, you guys let me know how you think it's gonna go. Because I personally believe that Rose will be a different stage from, uh, uh, like, like, base form Goku Black will be a character. Right? 
Once Goku Black he gets to Rosé, probably, he could start summoning Zamasu as an assist. Um, and that will be at stage 3, and stage 2 could be base Goku Black. But again, it, it's we, we don't know yet. The stream hasn't started yet, so you guys are just going to have to guess with me in the comment section down below. Um, so yeah, we'll also get first gameplay of uh, Season 5 Radar, which is, uh, again, obviously Goku Black. It doesn't get more obvious than that. So that'll be cool. We'll actually get to see how he plays when that happens. And also get the Season 5 latest updates, which will probably be patches and stuff like that. Um, let's hope that there is something that benefits survivors in there again. I've always been on the side that survivors are the screwed over ones in the game. Because for survivors to be um, any raider, they have to try exceptionally hard and have some of the better skills in the game, if not the best skills in the game, aka, you know, the Hercule skill, right? I feel like only recently I've had trouble. And by trouble, I mean I still win all of my matches against survivors, but it's slightly more annoying now. Um, only recently have I had trouble with survivors, and that's only because of the Hercule skill. The Hercule skill basically gives you an entire new uh, life, plus also sends you to the other side of the map whenever the raider does hit you. And most of the time, the raider can't afford to actually chase you across the, the map um, when he, you get sent, like, flying. And even if he can, it's usually a massive distraction, and the rest of your team can do something about it. So even if you go down, which is unlikely, because you should have several other skills at your disposal, um... The, uh, your team will benefit greatly from the Hercule skill. So yeah, the Hercule skill is really annoying. That alone has pushed survivors up a little bit, but still, survivors usually just get smashed every match. So, uh, yeah. But we'll, we'll see. Hopefully the latest update actually does include some uh, some extra survivor benefits. I've, uh, maybe, maybe hopefully they'll add a Key Blast meter for the Raider, right? So Raiders can't just spam Key Blast forever. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, um, we'll have to wait and see. When all of that actually, uh, when all of that actually happens, because for now we're we're just, we're just kind of sitting here, we're just like sitting ducks, just kind of waiting. So, um, yeah, damn, they didn't really give out a lot of information, but oh, they have esports players here. Esports players. I made a joke about Dragon Ball the Breakers having an esports league last time. Last time I streamed this, right? Kazunoko, he's a, he does fights and stuff. I'm pretty sure, right? This guy. Um, okay. Well, they're just having them play Dragon Ball the Breakers. I hope uh, I hope no one gets twisted and thinks, "Oh my God, Dragon Ball the Breakers esports league coming." That's not going to be the case. Um, but yes, let's. We are checking the tweets now because I'm sure the replies have some funny stuff for us, right? Oh, I see one already from Miller Ross. He says, "Praying for a crossplay at launch." Uh, I heavily doubt crossplay will be here again. If crossplay shows up in season five, that means crossplay was easier to implement than Raider Q for this game, which sounds absurd to me. And since Raider Q took two seasons to fix, fix, and then they took it away. Um, since Raider Q took two seasons to add to the game, crossplay at least will also take two seasons. So I, I, if, at minimum, I expect crossplay to be season six. Uh, it being in season five is way too damn early. And if it, it if it does get done before season five, that means they actually weren't doing anything when they were trying to fix Raider Q. Because how can you implement how can you implement crossplay? Something as big and as hard as that to get all the companies to to, to shut up and nut up so you can so you can connect all of those damn connections together so people can play together, right? But you can't just fix Raider Q. So if, if crossplay gets done before Raider Q, that means they literally didn't even try when it came to Raider Q. Um, that, that's my opinion on it. But yeah, it's pretty obvious. Goku Black, uh, can you announce crossplay and fix matchmaking? Um, when people say fix, fix matchmaking in this game, I think they mean the region lock. Because there is a, a again, I, I'm not too sure about this, guys. There is apparently a region lock in Dragon Ball the Breakers. I have not noticed this because I. I don't play the game that much. But um, if there is, then please let me know in the comment section down below because I feel like it does get a little bit twisted with the information regarding what actually is going on in this game. Because most of the time, it's easy to just say, well, not enough people are playing the game right now, which is why you have a matchmaking issue and not that it's region locked. Because if you have a region locked games, you can really easily find matches on. And Breakers isn't one of them. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, this guy is guessing it's Zamasu, obviously. The Bomber and Maya Survivor skins. Now, we already have two Bomber Survivor skins. I don't think we need a further one. But Mai would be a very good survivor skin. I can't imagine what abilities Mai would have, though. She'd probably have the bullet that they used on Goku Black. It wouldn't do damage to the Raider, but maybe it stuns the Raider, and it's, like, a really quick, um, long-ranged attack that can, like, stun the Raider. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I imagine Mai will have a bunch of good support skills. I mean, she literally needs to, because she's one of the only regular human beings who fights these, like, super-powered freaks. So, hopefully Mai is a good survivor skin. I don't imagine as good as Hercule, because Hercule literally has a, a Get Out Jail free card. But Mai should have some good support tools um, against the Raider rather than uh, support tools for the survivor's, you know, survivability. Um, this guy said, future things with Goku Black, maybe Zamasu infuse Zamasu with him as the Raider. And probably Mai and Jacko as survivor skins. Jacko, huh? Well, Jacko did get a tease, right? Jacko did get a tease, so that's very possible. 
Um, yeah, everyone's excited for Goku Black being the new Raider. <laughs> that's good. Hopefully, Raiders are actually good for once. Now, that's a controversial one. Let's see what the replies are. Uh, hopefully, they're in they're in fl they're in favor, right? Um, Broly and Ginyu are really good if you're not incompetent. I think every Raider in this game is really good. Broly is the is the most balanced Raider in the game, which uh, reminds me, that I'm gonna say that Goku Black, as hype as he is, he probably won't have super transfers like Broly does. So he'll be like every other Raider gameplay before Broly. And everyone hates that Raider gameplay. So I hope Goku Black does have come with uh, Super Transfers. I think Super Transfers is way more fun than just doing the regular thing. I mean, hopefully, I, I'd rather they just do the Super Transfer thing, right? Because Goku Black already destroyed um, the Super Dragon Balls in his timeline. And probably the regular Dragon Balls too, since there's no Piccolo there. I would just prefer if there was no Dragon Balls against Goku Black and we had Super Transfers instead. I think that'd be... It'd be so much better because Super Transfer is so much more fun to fight. It's so much uh, more fun to play as when you're a survivor as well. It's just more enjoyable overall. So I would, I'd much prefer that. Also because Goku Black will probably have a regeneration mechanic because he's got Zamasu and Fuse Zamasu in there. So there's no way he doesn't have some sort of immortality or regeneration mechanic. I think if you had to fight that with regular transfers and praying to God that you get all seven Dragon Balls just to send a chance, that's a bit of a tall order. I would just prefer Super Transfers overall. Um... But yeah, that'll be it. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, obviously, again, please leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to really support the channel. Leave a comment down below as to what you'd like to see next. Again, here is the starting time for the stream, okay? So before anyone gets it, gets twisted and asks, when is that happening? It's also on the image. So that's when the stream will start. But yeah, that'll be it. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you didn't, obviously, again, please leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to really support the channel. And leave a comment down below as to what you'd like to see next. Love you all. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time, fellas. Take care and uh, peace.